Hello, in this video we will demonstrate landing gear, landing gear system, SysML model. Here we have a block diagram which shows that landing gear system is composed of landing gear controller which will be the main uh, model in SysML and it has doors controller with the properties uh, fully closed, fully open, boolean properties locked and then uh, some uh, time properties like open time, close time and also for the gear controller fully re retracted, fully lowered, locked, retraction time, lowering time. Also we have here interfaces and we have DBM as external uh, model or hardware to communicate and once controller sends commands, those commands goes through those ports, goes to the DBM and DBM responds based on the uh, approved communication of the sensors. So it checks that command is performed and responds. So how that works? So here we have state machine, first of all, doors controller. Uh, and those controller has um, two regions in the operational state. We have a region for the doors, can be fully closed. And then we update the property fully closed to true. Then intermediate position, if we are opening uh, and if we get uh, approval, uh, 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 confirmation from the sensor that it is open, is open, received from the external uh, model or the hardware, we switch to fully open position and then we update the internal property uh, fully open to true, as we can see here. Uh, now, um, uh, here we see the second part of this uh, state. Uh, a machine which is uh, uh, controls the lock, so it's locked. When we send unlock a command to the controller, it uh, isn't confirming unlock. And once it gets confirmation from the uh, external uh, model or hardware, it's unlocked. We switch to unlocked. And same with the lock. So here we have also a, a gear controller, which is um, pretty much. Uh, same, just the property names are different, fully retracted, and the state is fully retracted and fully lowered, and the locking part is the same. Then also we have internal block diagram here, just we are showing also the state machines. In this internal block diagram, we show that the gear controller is connected to the external controller interface and it connects to the DBM. So signals will go in and out when we will send those signals on the switching here. So for example, send signal to unlock goes to, uh, to open is executed here on this uh, transition it goes to the dbm and then dbm responds and uh, how dbm works the simple activity diagram to illustrate uh, one scenario because uh, the whole idea is to replace this part as a black box with external model so once it will be replaced we will adjust the signal types uh, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll have the, the logic external. So that could be FMI model, could be maybe something else, uh, 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 some other interface connected to external model. So here we see now that uh, it reacts to the signal. So first of all, we send unlock signal to the this uh, doors. And if it is unlocked, it sends is unlocked. Uh, confirmed then we get uh, doors gets open signal and the doors takes to open like from five to seven seconds once it is open it sends confirmation signal again and then lock confirmation signal and uh, now for the gears the same on lock confirmation signal retract confirmation uh, retracting from 11 to 14 seconds let's change it to for example 16 seconds is retracted and the then doors are locked also once the gear is retracted. So this is, uh, this is the communication uh, from the uh, behavior from the DBM side. Now um, we can execute this model and this model has also um, user interface, a very simple user interface where we can track those properties, send the signals to the doors controller, close open on lock lock. Uh, gear controller, close open uh, lower retract and lock lock. Uh, and uh, if we decide, for example, that uh, we don't want to have uh, uh, a locking uh, manual, we can uh, integrate it into the controller. So we would then just control the 
close open and lower retract or just lower retract and that's it you know and all of them would be performed by the controller so that's possible in current case controller gives that for us to control here we see also the properties and the chart of the activities of dbm part and the state changes here in the user interface diagram now we'll execute this one this model so let's go to this simulation here Execute this model, go here, and here we see this uh, situation, right? It's uh, in the fully closed and gear fully lowered. So we can uh, unlock, and you see the signal is going in and out. And now we can uh, open, again, signal goes in and out can track what is the signal if we would uh, slow down then uh, as you can see here we are in the stage support part now I will uh, lock again the doors open doors are locked see open true locked true right so it's confirmed the time to open was 5.4 seconds right now I can uh, unlock the gear and uh, I can uh, lower uh, retract the gear so before doing that let's uh, let's check that we actually automatically generating here sequence diagram as a result so let me put it here and see that it is actually generated here so continue let's continue with this okay retract so you can see here sequence diagram is generated so we can see what is the external communication where is the user sending commands uh, it's me and what is internal communication like signal states property changes and also we could uh, track timestamps and other things okay now we are locking and now we are here again doors unlock now close and now uh, the last part lock so now we see that uh, close took to 5.1 second because there was randomized time uh, retract time was 15 seconds and we have here information about uh, when the change of the state happened in the controller as you can see here from locked for example to the unlocked uh, how long it took 5.4 seconds right and so on and uh, 15 seconds you see from uh, uh, fully lowered to the fully retracted 15 seconds here we see that so here we see the uh, model uh, that external model response which we actually imitating right now by ourselves uh, okay so that was the simulation and as a result we re recorded the sequence diagram right now we can actually run the sequence diagram so we can execute it run with context yes and this is executed now as a scenario so if we'll run it you'll see that we're executing it uh, it goes step by step it actually sends only the external signals the internal signals are skipped maybe you see there is no color coding for those internal signals and the states are key state variants are key here we are waiting until system will go to that state until sending the next signal so we see that we are running at the top speed you know with the animation and still we are correctly sending the signals and uh, responding to everything there are some uh, duration constraints which still uh, matters because we are running with animation if we would run without animation those duration would not take time okay so here we have this executed scenario so system responded to that also what we have here we have uh, requirements verification so we can go back uh, here we have requirements those requirements uh, uh, for the let's set the scope here those requirements are for the uh, 
uh, lowering time uh, uh, and retraction time and close time and open time as you can see six seconds 15 seconds with automatic uh, uh, language uh, recognition here and constraint introduction for the properties uh, and it will go here we'll see here that uh, those requirements set, set, are satisfied by the property so if the properties goes out of the limit we'll see immediately that the requirement is not satisfied uh, then uh, last time the last thing what we have and we can execute the scenario for example here from the setup we can run the scenario as we can see here scenario is executed so we don't need to uh, do this manually you see those steps uh, we just can run and see for example uh, this requirement is not satisfied here when we're running this uh, gear retraction scenario doors open shall uh, be less than six seconds and we see that at, at some moment uh, in the scenario this was not satisfied right uh, all other properties are satisfied based on those requirements which we used and to actually get the reliable results not one single uh, um, execution we can run Monte Carlo analysis multiple times so we can run multi multi multiple times and track the results uh, into the histograms as we can see here for example open time we can put that uh, as a histogram and execute this model and then we'll get results